Believe it or not, Murta gets ads on YouTube, just like every other person, and my ads have gotten weirder and weirder over time. From Christian propaganda that begin with, if you are seeing this ad, it is most likely the middle of the night. I don't know what you're seeking, but are you alright? And it's like, well, Christians, please account that some of us are very nocturnal and that this is just our night and day rhythm. There's absolutely nothing wrong with us, but thanks for that judgment. To Islamist charities, which normally only appear during that month of fasting that they do, which I am less opposed to because charities are just charities. Charities are just good. But anyways, what has appeared on my ads one day was this guy's wonderful song about OnlyFans, and I sat there and I thought, you're putting down sex workers, and I don't actually know why. Like, it just sounds like you are a very unhappy and angry man that needed to express their anger through putting down of others, and I just kind of left it on the side, kind of in the back burner, just, just, just in my text document where I collect things that make me go, ha, huh, maybe I should do a video on it, and, and the wise brain, the, the wise part of my brain goes, no, please don't, you will probably lose a lot of subscribers, because a lot of people are angry at other people and how they live their lives so whenever you're gonna open your mouth it's just gonna make things worse and then i thought fuck it i kind of like the sound of my voice so i am opening my mouth either way so anyways we're not gonna like play the whole song i just like this is a freeze frame the dude and everything which kind of works. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and discuss the lyrics, okay? That's, that way, I can get in trouble with YouTube less for using other people's content, because YouTube is very draconian about that, and if it was just monetization issue, that would be like, not that much of a problem. Currently, I'm earning $11 of YouTube a month. That's before the 25% tax that gets applied onto me. But oftentimes, when you use somebody else's content, they have the ability to block it worldwide. And I am dealing with that in a lot of my Bloodline streams right now, where I have to cut or mute content because 30 seconds of a song managed to just block worldwide a two-hour video. We're not risking that. We're not risking that. So I got, I got, us, I got us the lyrics. Mad Child, only fans lyrics, and I could I I just highlighted the big parts, the ones that I the ones that I want to address, but I can like read it out the full the full bit for you. Look, I realize that this is Sexual Awareness Month, but hold on to your chair, cause I'm about to come be very blunt. Things are changing quickly, saying OnlyFans is normalized, but let me make a song to show that this isn't normal, guys. Men have to watch what we say. There are many restrictions. Applies to women too, by the way. Women are winning, and men are becoming the victim. I was not aware that we're fighting. I mean, there's like, sexes in the world. You can be born with... Two types of genitalia, for the most part. I don't see a reason to draw a line in the sand and be like, us versus them. That's like... It really makes no sense to me. Not a prediction. It's a predicament. This is ridiculous. Used to be studs, used to be pimps. Now they're laughing at you and you're tipping them. Men, you're tripping. They're calling you simps. That, that line, like, in particular, the reason why I kind of highlighted it is because, um... So, you wanna be in charge of other women's bodies? Is that... Is that what you're saying? Would it 
Was it better when a male figure was selling women like they were property and belonging to him rather than women having the ability to enter the sex industry as an independent persona and make her own cash? I, this is quite troublesome to me. Are you... Are you saying that women are property? Because fuck you if you are. <laughs> I mean... Would you like there to be female pimps that kind of sell off their husbands? Would, th would that be an okay dynamic? Because that would be like the complete switch of dynamic, right? Now it's just that... You can freelance sex work you can you can freelance sex work that's that's what has happened and apparently that is a problem eh? listening to cardi b and think about their selfish dreams oh yes i i bet when you made that song your dreams were like super selfless dude Go online and prey on lonely men that have low self-esteem. Something to have addressed on a personal basis rather than blaming the people creating online adult content, I feel. I am not gonna deny that a lot of people get stuck with low self-esteem and that that creates a very, very angry society. <laughs> it's mostly because our current workforce likes to abuse us and work us to death and we don't get to feel like productive members no matter how many things we do and we get to be tired all the time. And then if you're unlucky, if you didn't get the right education, if you didn't poke the right holes, you don't even have that much. You're, you're just, you're sitting there jobless, feeling sad. Or you work like 100 hour weeks and you have no time for relationships, which are also making you feel sad. So you feel like a worthless sack of potatoes. This is something to address on a personal level. People creating content on the internet are not to blame for your personal problems. Please get that sorted. If your will is of that, that this is breaking you, I fully believe that you should be able to self-regulate. Addiction to porn is a thing, but the same way that addiction to video games and movies and alcohol is a thing. That's why we have alcoholics. As an adult, you are expected to be able to regulate these things. And if you cannot regulate these things, you're expected to seek help from a mental professional. And I understand that the getting appointments with those is a whole nother hellhole, but it's not up to the society to guardrail you and foolproof your decisions against content existing there and if you're getting mad at the person making content because you have self low self-esteem maybe the problem is with you i don't know i don't know you know maybe acting like it's hard work with tits like they deserve it uh, for those that do this for a living, it is. You have to put on beautiful makeup, you have to have a grand selection of underwear, you have to find good shooting locations, you have to pose in ways that make you look good, you then have to come back, you have to edit all of that content, and you have to be creative enough in order to do variations of this for as long as you want to be in the industry. So like, if you did one panty shot, congratulations, you can never do that again because variation and content, or huzzah. It is a lot of work. It is actually not the kind of work that I could ever do. I, I don't do it for more than one reason, but 
it's more quality than I put into my own videos. <laughs> Let's put it this way. This, this is me slapping on some lipstick after my work day, sitting down in front of camera to vomit out word salad at you. I don't even write a script. Mostly because I am overworked and I have like a million other side gigs to do. So this is how I keep engaged with the world. And this is what makes me happy. But as a result, I am never going to be a very, very big channel. And that is fine. These women, they do work. It is work. It is like serious work. And then you're like, oh, like it's hard. It is. Telling you you're cool when they think that you're a weirdo and a pervert. Would you rather they told you you're a weirdo and a pervert? Okay, you are a weirdo and a pervert. Actually, let me, let me just... In case this is somebody's kink. You are a weirdo. And a pervert. If, if that was your kink, you're welcome. And now some women make real money, but 80% make 100 a month. That's a real fact. That's a real stat. I googled it. Like, what the fuck? Talk about a letdown. Doesn't sound too fun, though. Their hosts throw their respect right out the window for a hundo. Would you like to give all of these women a hundred dollars out of your pocket? Because... You have to understand that... <laughs> With my main income, this is... I just try and do a quick calculation in my head. That's about one-eighth of what I earn a month. And I live in a country where the lowest paying wage is twice that. But I'm a migrant. And I have health problems. And finding work that is remote, that can accommodate me, is pretty hard. I am lucky that I no longer have to pay rent. Because you know how much rent was in our last place? 400 pounds. That's where the majority of my wage went. A hundo can be the difference between eating and not eating that month. It legitimately can. And you're like... Ain't they sad? They're throwing out their self-respect for such a small amount of money. You know, when you're starving on the streets, you will suck a dick for a fiver. <laughs> and they can't blame you. And it will make you feel fucking sad. But welcome to reality. Welcome to reality where people struggle to survive. I don't know I don't know what to tell you. Why are you why are you shaming people that need that hundred dollars? Are you gonna Yeah, if you're gonna mail everybody a hundred dollars a month, please be my guest. Maybe it would help. Maybe it would actually really help. But this is this sounds like it's a societal problem that you need to tackle from a different perspective than just shaming women. <laughs> Rape culture, sexual assault is something real, though. Maybe turn your camera off and put away your dildo. First of all, whoever's doing that for fun, you go, girl. <laughs> you go, girl. You, you have fun with it. But whoever is doing it out of necessity, yeah, you just kind of lose your income because this guy is upset about the fact that you have income and that you are trying to feed your family. No! Jesus Christ, we just established that the earnings from OnlyFans are sad. Are really, really sad. And when you look at it that way, the situation looks really, really sad. And then you're like, stop burning money. This will solve all your problems, you nearly homeless loser. What the heck? Why do you believe that this is a good thing to do? This is a... Why? Why are you being like this? I... 
You're shaming poor people. And you're shaming women that decided to monetize something that they have a talent for. I mean, if you can make it big with, with sex industry, well, props to you. And if you are there because you're really desperate for cash, then hustle that hustle. I am so glad that your own self-esteem is high enough for you to do this. And that it is not depressing you and not pushing you into suicide. I am so glad you found a way to cope and that you found a way to survive and that you're still getting food on your table. And don't let some idiot on YouTube tell you otherwise. You go. You hang on to that life. You do what you gotta do. Because life is what it is. I don't... Why would you shame people's ways of making money? Then... This is also rich. That's something that you can't take back following you for the rest of your life. You think people don't know that? You think people don't know that? Pictures pop up on the internet later. It might be a problem when you are a wife. That is... Assuming that women that are doing this are not married, a lot of them are, and a lot of them have children, and normally it is a couple's decision. Normally married women that are in the sex industry have husbands that are fine with it. And that's okay. If that is how they want to live their life, that is completely fine, and if that is something that they have to do, in order to get Timmy not taken away by the social services and be able to give him three meals a day. All the power to ya. All the power to ya. And you know what that Timmy should say if other children attack him? He should say that my mother did everything that she could in order to keep me clothed, in order to keep me fed. Mad respect for that woman. Mad respect for that woman for raising us. Nothing else. And you got some kids and the children are laughing at them with their phones in their schoolyard. You say it's work, but spreading your legs open don't seem too hard. Then maybe you should try it. Instead of, you know, creating tracks here, why don't you open an OnlyFans and try it? I mean, it's so easy, right? Such easy work. See how many people donate for your pics. See how many different combinations of places and... underwear <laughs> and positions and toys that you can think of and professionally shoot because... God damn it, photography is an actual job. And it's hard to make photos that don't come out looking like complete potato. I gotta say, my... I asked for a birthday present from my husband, then it's gonna be a camera, because... Not only do I want to take pictures of my wardrobe for a video... I am planning on, at some point, at least attending some events, even if I can't travel overseas, see some nice places, dilapidated buildings, some graveyards, some atmosphere, and I am intending to enjoy it, and I am intending to take pictures of it for my own enjoyment. And once again, god damn it, taking a picture that doesn't just look like a potato is really hard. It's just potatoes galore here. But anyways, that has been my video. I know that this is going to upset a lot of people. But frankly, my channel, my rules. <laughs> you can express your opinions, but don't, don't, don't be surprised if I ended up making a video bitching about your opinions, even though I will never disclose your avatar and your name, because I do respect you, and I respect your privacy, but at the same time, if you say something stupid on my channel, you have 
You're giving me the full right to mold that over and make a full 21 minutes video talking about just that. But anyways, we're approaching 21 minute mark right now. And this has been Murta, so I am gonna sign off. Please don't be this dude.